I'll be showing comprehension questions in Reading Progress. Reading Progress is our fluency tool that's built into Teams and comprehension questions have been the number one request from educators and it's fully rolled out now. So let's get started. I'm signed into Class Teams as an educator in my assignments module. I'm gonna go down and click Create and then I'm gonna choose New Assignment. We'll give it a title. Now go down and click Attach and choose Reading Progress Assignment. There's also gonna be a Learning Accelerators button coming very soon, so that's the better way is go to Learning Accelerators. If you see that already, great. If not, it's coming soon. So I'll click Reading Progress. Now I'm going to upload my passage here and choose Upload. Here is my passage. Now I have all my normal Reading Progress settings here. I'm gonna leave them as the default. I'm going to turn this new one though right here that says Add Comprehension, and I will choose Yes. This pulls up Microsoft Forms technology that we've tailored for reading progress. So I can give this a quick title and I can add questions. We limit it to just choice and text to keep it simple. So I'll click choice here and now I can add in my question and also mark the one that is actually correct. So we'll do that really quick. And the right answer here is geography. So I check that showing the correct answer and that'll help the auto grading when that part kicks in. I can have required right here and we'll add another question and this one will be another multiple choice. I could also choose text if I want. I'll just delete that and we'll make another multiple choice question. Okay, I've got my next question. I marked the right answer. So now I'm all ready to go with my set of questions for comprehension. In the lower right, if you wanna click this little expand widget, you can see everything else right here if you wanna change things or you can hide it. In my case, I'm ready to go. So at the top, I'll click next. And now this is added the reading progress attachment just like you normally would to an assignment. So I will click assign. Here's the geography assignment. Now I'm gonna sign in as a student and show how the comprehension questions pop up and I'll fill those out. I'm signed in as a student. Here's my geography assignment. Let's open that and then open it up. Okay, here I am. We're just gonna speed ahead and pretend that I've read the passage. Okay, I read my passage. I'm gonna say use this recording. It's gonna attach it. Now at the top it says complete the questions using information from the passage. So here are those comprehension questions. Also note, the immersive reader is built right in, which is really nice. So for students that might need assistance with reading those questions, you click the immersive reader and it is fully supported, our good old friend, the immersive reader. So I'm gonna answer this one. What is the study of Earth's landforms? I think that's mountaineering. And then what liquid does the passage say people need to drink? I think that's water. And I'll hit submit. I have submitted my comprehension questions and I'll just click reading coach and now I can practice the words I missed. And I'm not gonna go through this, but we're gonna switch back over to the educator and show what it looks like to look at the comprehension questions that have been submitted as part of that reading progress assignment. Let's switch over to the educator. I'm signed back in as the educator. I'm in my assignments list and I'm gonna look at ready to grade and we'll open up that reading progress passage right here. And here we go with Adele. That was the student that I just pretended I was. We'll open up her assignment. Now I'm here in the teacher review and in the upper right, you're gonna see a new little pivot tab right here called comprehension. I'm gonna switch over to this. This pulls up the little form that I had made, this quiz form, and it shows the time to complete, the autograded score, because I got this one wrong and I got this one correct. Now I didn't set up points before I made the assignment, but if you had points in here, just like a normal quiz, you could have set the different autograded points. But what's nice is this is automatically graded for you and you can get a quick check of any student on how they did. You'll also see that we have this new expression tab as well as the original accuracy tab. And this is how you can quickly see how your students did on reading comprehension questions. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.